we've got on here is energy harvesting. So we're trying to make use of energy or showing ways of making use of energy that we don't currently harness or making better use of the energy we do, do do use by reusing some of the waste because on a lot of machines and devices there's quite a lot of wasted energy converted to heat and that doesn't actually benefit the device so if your laptop gets hot that hot temperature is just making your knees warm as opposed to actually powering the computer so one of the ways you can actually do that is to use a thermoelectric generator which has a semiconductor material um, and by applying a temperature gradient across that material it will generate a small amount of electrical power so on the laptop you've got your hot surface on the computer and the colder surface would just be the air around it um, and that electricity that's generated from that will go back in so you draw less power from the wall, uh, your electricity bills are lower and obviously you're using less sort of carbon dioxide if that's where the electricity is coming from. The bike in the middle was something that we put together at the University of Central Lancashire. Uh, we did it fairly cheaply, it was made from scrap. Um, and all it was for was to sort of demonstrate the principles of generating power. In this case it's got a bike so uh, you or me could sit on it and pedal furiously and generate about 50 watts or you know enough for a light bulb. But at the same time it could be a solar panel or a wind turbine and the sort of the principles are, are pretty much the same um, by using the alternator which converts that mechanical work into electrical work. People are rubbing the plates to make them hot because the hotter they make the plate, the more the bigger that temperature difference and the more electricity is generated. So what we can do with the three apparatus is we can have a little race, pit them against each other. Um, and those who either bang the loudest or rub the hardest or pedal the fastest will win the race.